I talk too fast. All right, my bad, my bad. I'll try to talk a little slower next time. All right, guys, this is going to be a fun one. Glad to have you all in here. I'm going to record this so we can post it on YouTube, but just so everyone is aware, this is our coaching session. Um, thank you all for joining me. You know, I'm really excited to talk about content marketing and the benefits of it really growing your audience, growing your leads, and most importantly, getting you more sales, or if you're a nonprofit, more donations. Um, everyone that's in the group, you already know me, um, but if you're watching on social media or somewhere else, I'm Brad Smith. Over the last 10 years, I have been coaching people how to improve in a couple different ways, how to improve their nonprofits and how to improve their businesses. And I really take that relationship marketing approach. I came from a one-to-one -one health and fitness company where I had to work with people one-on-one, -on -one, shake their hands. And once you had that relationship, they always became you know, a strong prospect, a customer, and stayed in touch with you for a long time. But it's really hard when you go to the internet. My wife and I were in a really bad car accident, which made me pivot from a local business to helping people with online businesses. And that's when I realized, all right, instead of being able to work with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, how can I build better relationships through the internet? So everyone in the group, I wanna get started. This is our framework here. Um, I'm gonna be sharing my screen. And this is our playbook. You know, I'm a coach. Everything I do, I was a hockey player in the past, so everything in my head is um, coach mindset, right? So I want you to be prepared. I'll prepare you with the game plans and then give you that playbook for us to follow when we're in the game. So when you're running your business next week, I want you to just reference this playbook right here, copy and paste everything, and just implement it into your business and you know also working with your team your freelancers and your contractors to make sure all of this actually gets done so you know you can always start with ads but i always say if you're starting out or if your this specific business is under ten thousand dollars a month you got to do a lot of this on your own you got to be scrappy you got to have freelancers you got to have low cost software and that's where my playbooks come in is giving you those resources and tools and let's run through them real quick today. I wanna to give you a quick overview of what we're gonna be diving into in the grow game plan that I offer. Um, so it's a, you know, a lot of information, but I want it to simplify it for you, get you those freelancers, get you those contractors, get you set up on the software so we can automate as much as possible. So it all starts with your website. That's where I like to start, right? That's the hub where you want people to go and to get more information. Now, a lot of people think they can just set up a, a lead magnet page or a landing page. Yeah, those are great. We'll get in, into those in step two here, but you really need that hub for Google to show trust. If somebody's never heard of you before, you don't have that relationship with them, or you're starting out fresh and have zero traffic, they're not gonna trust you. They're not gonna know anything about you, quite frankly. So what we wanna do is use your website as a trust builder. and that website should be, you know, have information about you, information about what you offer, and just a couple quick links. It's better to keep your website super simple at first in that hub, so it's easy to navigate around. You can always add stuff in the future, but we want people to easily reach out to you. We also wanna start building that SEO, so a lot of this content marketing is gonna to have to do with blogging. Um, that's your content hub, and then building videos around that, so you build that better relationship. So the website's good for Google SEO. We also recommend some really strong software. So if you join the Grow Game Plan um, and everyone in the group, you've already got this link. So you can just go click it and access this. But the software, it needs to be easy for you too, easy for you to log in, to make changes. I don't recommend WordPress because it's really hard for you as an average, you know, you're busy running your business. You're not a web developer. So you need something where you can just go in there, change little things whenever you need to. Um, and then freelancers. So, you know, I don't expect you to build a website on your own. So I have a list of good freelancers here that, you know, 20 bucks a page to build out the website. So that's really important um, if you want, you know, something cost effective, you're just getting started and to get that website launched, get the SEO going, get some quality pages out and get in there and start making changes. Now, the next thing is the lead magnet. Only 1% of visitors, it's actually less than 1%, 0.01% of website visitors actually take an action. That's filling out a contact form, signing up with their email. So what we do is we create landing pages to increase that conversion rate. We have a landing page right here that's getting a 30% conversion rate. So that means out of 100 visitors, 30 people are giving the name and email. And it's so important for these lead magnets because if they've never heard of you before, 
you don't have that relationship with them, you have to get them on the email list, get, give them something for free in exchange for their email so you can start building that relationship or else they'll never become a client anyways. So give them something of value where they want to sign up, become a client, and then you can start following up and building that relationship. And that's where the email comes in, in our automation playbook. Um, and if you're a member, of course, you've got that also. But if you're just watching this from social media, make sure you grab that automation playbook. I give you the exact emails you can copy and paste into your software that generates so many sales for our clients. It's unbelievable. And it's about building a relationship. We want to know that that first person that comes in through our website or link magnet most likely isn't going to buy from us, right? So what we need to do is expect them to buy on the second, the third, the fourth, the sixth email. So you want to have these email automations in place so you can easily build that relationship. So by the sixth email, they will end up buying or just getting off your list or just following you on social media. They might be ready to buy in a year from now or two years from now. Also some good freelancers that you can hire to help you finish these emails. Of course, the emails you're going to copy and paste into your system are pretty general. Feel free to go ahead and just use those and make little changes. Um, but I have some resources of some really strong copywriters that when somebody's reading these emails, it's going to really build that relationship, incentivize them and get them to come purchase or sign up for your service um, or buy your e-commerce product. Or if you're a nonprofit, I do work with a lot of nonprofits, donate to your cause. You know, that's really key too. And then what software you should use, you know, you don't want to be spending 50 to hundred dollars a month on emails marketing software when you're first starting out. So I have some recommendations on some free email marketing softwares. And then what's key is how to make sure that it's a quality software. So you go to the inbox, if you use a service like MailChimp, you're going to go to the spam folder because there's so many spammers using that. All right. Next thing is this blogging, right? So Google really wants to push you to the top. If you provide relevant information now, you're, it takes a long time to get to the top of the Google search results, but it's better to start now than to start never, right? Because in three years, you'll be getting a ton of traffic. I started blogging eight years ago and I get most of my leads and customers from my blogs now. So it's, it's worth it to start now. So what we want to do is start blogging now. And that's my content hub in my head. So I always start with my blog. What is a common thing somebody searches for in Google? Then I'm going to write about it. Then I'm going to create a video about it. Then I'm going to answer FAQs about it. And then I'm going to post on social media about it. Cause if somebody's searching in Google, they're most likely wondering that other places. So always start with Google. What are people searching for? R write about that. Use that as your content hub for the week. Um, and then how to write, right? You can use AI, you can use automation. You can use the freelancers. I recommend get them to answer those questions in that blog format, get that automated. So you're getting like one a week, right? Have them put it in the website for you. It shouldn't cost that much, five or 10 bucks to get these blogs out, but it's going to go a long way with not only future Google growth, but also for your content the rest of the week on social media and other places. Then you're going to follow up with some automated emails, send them frequently asked questions. That means people already on your email list or new people are going to have those questions also. So you want to be the expert, you want to give the education and you want to send that to them. So they start trusting you and they know you're the help. You're the college professor that's educating them every step of the way. And of course, I'm going to give you some really good software to get those blogs out there, get more traffic right away and get that SEO into your site. Um, I'll provide the SEO for you also. Now, I think videos are the most important thing. It's what's really grown my business. I was doing videos on my health and fitness business before I got started with digital marketing and I was helping people through video. What I realized is, you know, number one is working with somebody one to one face to face. Right. Number two is what letting them watch your video. Then you can work with more than one person at a time. So I started uh, YouTube. Uh, I think it was eight or nine years ago, I think 2014 or something like that. And that's where I was just providing tips. And I didn't realize it at the time. But what I've come to realize as my business has grown is that people trust you more when they see your face. When you're watching this video, you see my facial expressions. You see if I'm genuine. You see that I'm coaching you and I'm trying to help you. I'm providing value. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just the coach. I'm just trying to help. It's like going to college without paying for it, right? That's what you need to be in your industry, the college professor. How can you teach others for free without them having to pay the college tuition, how to get better at something? Because when they are ready for that extra help, they'll go buy your playbook. Like we have, they'll go tell other people about you. They'll buy things when they need it, but be their teacher and their coach until then. 
and let them learn from you. Let them get to the next level. Also, I'm going to, you know, in this game plan, you really want to follow YouTube um, strategies. So I follow five people on YouTube and I basically copy them. Not exactly the same. I put my own twist on it, but I post around the same times. I am post just as consistently. I have cool thumbnails. Um, so you want to find, you know, you can even copy my YouTube channel. Um, go copy my YouTube channel. See how often I post, you know, one to three times a week. For you, I want you to start slow, start consistently. Once a month is fine. But the goal is to get one blog and one YouTube video per week and just be super consistent on that. Also SEO. So all of my videos show up at the top of Google now because YouTube and Google are owned together, right? So that's going to really fuel your website growth if your YouTube videos are in your website like a blog. I also have some great freelancers I want to recommend to you and some good software to really help you explode on YouTube and get going quicker than if you just tried doing it on your own. Last but not least is social media. We know the power of social media. We know, you know, we should be posting, but most of us are too busy. You're too busy running your business, focusing on what you're get, good at. So we really need a content schedule. So that's the one blog, the one video per week. Use those for your social media posts. I highly recommend making your own posts if you have time. So they, you know, something I heard recently was don't be the consumer, be the creator. Only 1% are out there creating when 99% are watching, consuming the content. So if you're the one consuming, reorganize that energy to making content instead of consuming content. If you still are too busy and you still don't know what, know what to post, follow this framework in the grow game plan. I give you the exact framework we follow. And it's easy to make posts every day because I have a strategy in my head and I already know what I need to post based on that strategy. Go down here and, you know, copy the freelancers. 40 bucks a month, you can have somebody post on social media all the time from, for you. I recommend you do your own videos, but it, you can always hire someone for social media and then software to auto publish and schedule those videos for you is really, really key. Um, and here's my, I'll give you a quick summary. So I have Monday through Friday planned out, weekends off. Monday, I do Motivational Monday. We all started from nothing. You know, having 10 people watch your videos and read your blogs is better than one, right? And then next month, try to get 40. Then the next month, try to get 80. When you have 1,000, it might not be a lot because you're comparing yourself to others. But think about it. You can't work with, you know, 1,000 people at once. So if you can build up to 100 people seeing something at once, it's better than anyone else has ever had it. So more than one is better than none. Don't get discouraged. Start off slow. Testimonial Tuesday is my next day here. Website Wednesday is where I coach and teach about websites. Throwback Thursday is my favorite. I get to go back and throw back my horrible videos I used to make. And um, you know I do have a video marketing playbook you can download where I teach you how not to be scared on video. Took me six months to make my first YouTube video because I was so nervous, didn't know what to say. Finally found that strategy and I can give you that strategy in that playbook. It's just a bullet point, simple strategy to start getting comfortable on camera. Friday is FAQ Friday, what people have asked me during the week. I can easily answer those questions for them. Last but not least, use any leads that come in as referrals. I can usually get one to three referrals or recommendations from one person or one customer. So you wanna use case studies. You want to get reviews, then you want to simply ask them if they have anyone they can refer. They can tag you, they can reshare your posts on social media so their friends and family see it. They can leave a review, you can tag them when you repost that. And then the last but not least is ask them to be an affiliate. Ask them to get paid to recommend your service or product. So with ours, any of anyone that signs up for the game plan or playbooks with our business, on email number three, we say, hey, we hope you're enjoying it. Will you be an affiliate? We'll give you 50% off, 50% of any one you recommend. So if they recommend something that's 50 bucks, you get 25 bucks a month. You recommend something that's 150, we give you 75. We know how important it is for people to do word of mouth referrals and set up that affiliate marketing program so you can start getting more of those. So this is the grow game plan. Thanks, thanks team. We're gonna get into questions now on the Zoom here, but if you're watching from social media, you know, thanks for watching. Go ahead and go to automationlinks.com or if you're a nonprofit, go to paylente.com. You'll see the links in the description and join this Grow Game Plan. I've got a bunch of people on this uh, group coaching call right now. Thanks guys for hanging in. I warned them I was going to be making this marketing video um, to help.
and then we're, we get into common questions. A lot of people have a lot of questions coming in the chat here. So I'm going to start answering those. And everyone else that's watching, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will talk to you soon.